Okay, so this looks like an 820-3787 board, and I plug it in, but it's dead. Plugged in, and there's no fan spin. See? Sad fan, not spinning. So the first thing I'm going to do before anything else is I'm going to unplug this right I.O. board because the right I.O. board can keep it from turning on. Let's get that done. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. We still get zero amp usage, amp draw. All right, so let's unplug everything from it and see if we get any change. The keyboard can keep it from turning on. Plug it in. And when we plug it in, it's drawing 1.6 amps. So we're going to plug the keyboard back in and see if that is the cause of our problem. Plug it back in. Dead. Unplug keyboard. Reset power supply. Turns on. Here's something to realize about Apple products. And this is something that's pretty particularly specific to Apple products. With Apple products, the power button is integrated into the keyboard. Many other machines have the power button separate from the keyboard on a separate circuit. This way, if you manage to spill liquid on your keyboard, only the keyboard will stop working, not the entire laptop. Apple, however, is special. The power button is integrated into the keyboard itself. So if you spill water on your Z key, your power key will stop working. If your power key stops working and is always pressed, the machine will think that you're resetting the SMC and it won't turn on. This is a feature that is unique to Apple products. So you won't be able to just plug in an external $5 USB keyboard you have lying around and use that to get your data before you fix it. You're just screwed. This is where the keyboard plugs in, J4813. Right over here on pin 5, you have WS, keyboard, on, off, L. If you spill something on the keyboard, you may wind up shorting WS, keyboard, on, off, L to ground constantly, even if you only spilled it on a key that was not the power button, which is going to keep the machine from turning on. What would make sense is to have a separate circuit for the power button. I know they want to slim down the machine, and I know they want to streamline and simplify it, but this is the circuit responsible for turning it on. Give us a separate circuit with a button so that if you get a drop of water on your Enter or your Z key, you just have a broken Enter or Z key or a bad keyboard, not a dead computer. Integrating the power button into the entirety of the keyboard is mean, unnecessary, lame.